My name is Cody Masters. I am an executive chef and I have been coming to Axis for about a year and a half now. I first started seeking treatment for uh, depression and complex PTSD um, about 10 years ago, a little, maybe a little longer. I chose Axis Integrated Mental Health primarily on a search for something new, something more progressive, something more modern. Having a conversation with Chris really is what sold me on Axis versus what would be considered a competitive set in the area. In terms of other treatments that I had tried before Access, I have dabbled in uh, psychedelics, if you will, uh, multiple ayahuasca ceremonies, psilocybin, uh, traditional one-on-one -on -one therapy, um, even more esoteric than that, some weird like light stimulation thing where I had to watch Netflix and they read my brain waves. It was a, a total sham and I wasted a lot of money on it, but ultimately that search led me to access. When I first came in, this was we were at the forefront of something very new. I found that very exciting. Again, because of my past experiences and being comfortable with, you know, delving deep into the work, if you will, um, I really saw it as an opportunity to almost approach it as an adventure and really be proactive and solution oriented in how can I use this to my advantage while also allowing. I use the term guinea pig a lot, but I mean that in a great way. How can I be a guinea pig in something that I know I can completely give myself over to while potentially paving the way for a new practice that could help a lot of people that had struggled like I have for so long? Spravato presents a spectrum of both emotional and physical feeling and experience. There are, there are times that I come out of my sessions and I truly feel like I have tapped into a higher sense of self, a higher sense of consciousness, complete out of body experience that I leave. I mean, I leave energized. I'm excited to go through my day. The majority of the time outside of those experiences, which I appreciate in the most profound of ways, it's, it's meditative. I have said this to so many people when I talk about this. I truly believe Spravato, these levels of treatments expedite the meditative process. I used to be somebody that meditated daily for long periods of time. You can tap into these things. Spravato gets you there faster. So even in the experiences that I have and the treatments that I have that don't take me so deep, approaching it with intention and being you know, able to do the work, being willing to sacrifice yourself to the work, it's still a deeper level of meditation than you would get without, you know, having Spravato there to, to push you a little bit further. Thinking about how the staff plays an active role in my weekly treatments, um, there's been an evolutionary process to that as well. Uh, originally, it was just Chris and I one-on-one. -on -one, and I was, I was in bad shape when I walked in your doors the first time. There were sessions when I first started where Chris sat by my side and we talked for two straight hours, but I needed that. I, I wasn't yet able to understand how to navigate the experience completely like I can now. Um, as you've added staff, you think of people like Ashley, you think of people like Mackenzie, who I truly feel like I have formed a deep connection with that I see and I give a hug to when I say hello and when I say goodbye. That's not normal. And I mean that as the greatest compliment to what you have built here. It goes back to that sanctuary type environment that you've facilitated. Um, I, I mean, outside of Chris and yourself, I, Ashley and Mackenzie are, are confidants. They are people that know more than, I mean, some family members know about me at this point in terms of what this work has looked like and what it's brought me to. Uh, I cherish deeply the relationships that I formed with them. My adventure my exploration with Spravato and with Access has brought whew, a plethora of, of just enlightenment to me. Um, specifically, and, and I think this is the thing that matters the most, is it immediately evokes empathy. And that is something that I've struggled with. Um, coming from the abusive background that I had as a child, coming from the abuse that I had in my past relationship, um, empathy was something that I neglected because of the defense mechanisms and the hypervigilance that drove nearly every action of my everyday life. Going into these treatments um, and having an intention and or thinking about an experience that you want to focus on that still kind of feels a little raw or feels a little unsettling to you, um, 
every time. I'm absolutely 100% of the time. And I don't use the term absolutely lightly. You are led to a place of empathy, even if you don't want to find it. And that's the rub. The duality of empathy is finding empathy within somebody or an experience that you had and you don't want to have it, but you, you find it, you feel it, you're experiencing it. And, you know, as, as profound and, and uncomfortable as that was at first, because it was so foreign to me, it, it has been a game changer in terms of how I approach everyday life anywhere, a cashier at a supermarket, the staff at my work, my coworkers that don't even work in the same departments as me, my ex-girlfriend, uh, my mother. I mean, it's, it's, you tend it's hard because I because you because you want to be angry. The anger is more comfortable. It's more energizing. And when you can take a step away from that and you can put yourself in their shoes and be like, okay, well, I understand why this is happening. I might not like it, but I can feel for you in the plight that you're experiencing the same way my unique experience is happening every day to me as well. Um, that above anything else that happens in these sessions. Uh, the the way in which empathy has become an integral and everyday part of how I approach the world um, has has been something that um, I do not take for granted on any level whatsoever.